Tomorrow is the feast of St. James the Greater, the brother of John the Evangelist, one of the sons of Zebedee, one of that inner circle of three that often Jesus called away by themselves for a particular moment of grace and transformation, I'm thinking of the transfiguration or the agony in the garden. James is a fisherman who hears that radical call of Jesus along the, the shores of the Sea of Galilee to leave his nets and come follow him. Tradition says that <clears throat> James traveled very far afield, that he ends up in Spain, evangelizing the people of Spain who had obviously never heard of Jesus. And that in a very particular moment of frustration at the seeming lack of results, James is firmly resolved to go back home and the Blessed Mother appears to him and encourages him to stay, which he does. And so he's the evangelizer of Spain and really the, the first apostle to go that far west to what would have been uh, the end of the world at that time. He does return to Jerusalem and scripture records that he was the first apostle who suffered martyrdom for the sake of Christ, that he was beheaded by the orders of King Herod in Jerusalem. His relics, his remains are brought back to Spain, are hidden and buried for centuries and discovered through the revelations of a holy monk. So today in the church of Santiago, which is in extreme Northwest Spain, is the tomb of St. James. And it became the pilgrimage destination, which was most popular throughout the Middle Ages. So there's all these pilgrimage routes from all over Europe that converge on the city of Santiago, converge on the tomb of St. James. I was blessed to walk uh, the Camino twice. Uh, and it's quite a journey. You, you stop along and visit uh, beautiful little chapels along the way. <clears throat> you meet pilgrims from throughout the world. You encounter people that may not be walking for explicitly spiritual reasons. And yet you can sense that the, the grace of God is working in opening their hearts to transcendence. So the joy of coming to the end of a journey after walking and carrying uh, the load for, we walked, I think it was about uh, maybe 75 miles, um, is very satisfying when you get there. And so as we honor St. James, we just think of that apostolic courage that took this fisherman, this, this rough, uneducated man, to the far um, shore of Europe to proclaim the gospel of Christ. When you think of the enormous difficulties and obstacles that he faced, and in the end, none of that mattered because he had encountered the risen Christ and he gave his entire life to that mission, as did all the apostles, all the saints, all the martyrs, as indeed we are called to do. Uh, tomorrow, as we honor St. James, uh, we ask his prayers that we too, who are pilgrims on this earth, may also be apostolic and fervent in our proclamation of Jesus, crucified and risen.